hey guys and welcome back to our channel hacked by ebags i'm sasha and today i am going to be showing you how we completed our current primary suite if you watched our previous videos then you know that we have quite a bit of incomplete projects so we're trying to finish the lower hanging fruit during the month of december and so we have a few things on our list that we want to do before the end of the month one of those things was this bathroom right here now we completed it in what two days so i'm about to just do a flashback show you all the things that we did all of the good diy projects the little things that we bought and you know just give you tips and ideas of little ways that you can use or utilize to sprouse up your space without spending a lot of money and breaking the bank stick around for the next videos in december guys because we have as i said quite a bit of little spaces that we want to complete and then we'll be giving you a tour of all of those spaces so don't miss this <laughs> this is the current state of the bathroom and the story behind this crack is because we were going to extend the bathroom that way and um when we started to break through the wall we realized that we had a beam coming up so we decided to just fix it and leave it this size anyway so what we plan to do here is to really sprouse up this area right um i'll show you some before before we actually moved in pictures of the space and what it looked like but this is our 95 percent renovated bathroom <laughs> so we're going to be taking down the vanity sanding it um to remove the color because we tried to paint it before but this color isn't really not yeah it's not it um so we're going to sand it down repaint it um we're going to be doing an epoxy design on the counter we'll be changing out the faucet which we've had that we've had the faucet replacement for months um we'll be changing the mirror and we will be changing the light fixture as well we recently bought the light fixture at a done sale um and i want to put a floating shelf in this area we haven't purchased that as yet so let's see what we can find and that's pretty much it i've already cleaned out everything from the vanity so it's just for us to start working on this and this should be a two-day project guys but let's see how long it takes us to complete um, when we're done we'll just clean up the bathroom and i'll give you an official tour with some before and afters we love those right yes <sighs> going to attempt to use these old placemats to create a design in the shaker parts of it well i don't know if that you call it but in the inner parts of this shaker cabinet door um for both doors and draw so let's see i'm going to take off this piece right here so and then i'm going to glue it on and see if it turns out how i want it to turn out um if this turns out good then this is a dope ass diy <laughs> right just to add some texture to this piece i 
I attempted a really dangerous stunt and I attempted to cut this on the miter saw. I did roll it up and tape it but it splintered all over the place and so the edges are very jagged. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a pair of cutting shears which is fabric scissors to try to get the edges as straight as possible now the scissors worked out much better than the miter saw and i ended up using the scissors to cut the other mat so that it fit into the space perfectly We decided to use construction glue to attach the mat to the front of the cabinet. Um, after putting on the glue, I used something to just spread it out to ensure that I had an even coverage. I didn't want the glue to be seeping in through the, the cracks in the mat. Um, once I had enough glue, then I just put the mat on there and left it to dry. This was so satisfying guys, this part of it. And it was pretty easy and simple and I think a good use of material, especially things that you have laying around the house that you no longer use. And so, yeah, I think this is going to turn out really good, but let's wait till the end. These came out not too bad. I had a little fail on the miter saw when I tried to cut it, but um, I kind of straightened it out with the scissors. And it don't look tree bad, so I'm gonna run with it. And I learned my lesson and cut this one with the scissor instead of the saw. I figured that it was going to splint all over the place now. I never know, so it would have been that bad. So the next thing I'm gonna do is paint it when it's dried. And we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it looks nice or how we imagine it will look. So let's see guys. But either way, it's gonna be guess the color and if you guessed the color green then you're correct we're painting this vanity green to add a pop of color to the room all right this is complete i have completed painting the vanity the doors and the drawer is over there and now I have the countertop to do. Um, as I said before, I'm going to epoxy this countertop. And then we'll just put a new faucet on it. And this part of the project should be done. I just scrubbed it down to ensure that it's smooth. So I'm just going to wipe it off. And I think I'm going to move it inside to do the epoxy. Look at that baby. You climbing, Daddy? <laughs> what happened? Where you want to go? Show me where you want to go. Outside? All right, let's go. Go. So I have moved into the living quarters, and as you can see, it is still incomplete but um it got dark out so i said let me come inside and i'm out of the wind and all of the ailments of outside no dust and whatever so i can work on this epoxy um we're still on day one guys remember i told you we're trying to finish this today uh so let's see if we can finish we might not be able to install this part of it until tomorrow because we have to wait until the epoxy dries but we still have a few other things to do, like the light fixture. Um, haven't bought the mirror as yet, but let us see. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. For all epoxy projects, you want to ensure that you tape off the areas that you don't want to get epoxy on. We have a full video on do's and don'ts and lessons on doing epoxies. I'll leave the link up top and below so you can go ahead and check that out uh but yeah so that's what i'm doing guys i'm preparing this vanity top or whatever you call it for the epoxy by taping off the sink because i don't want to get epoxy inside of the sink 
All right, guys, so this is the third time we're using epoxy. We got this epoxy on Amazon. Uh, we just bought it and I don't remember who we got it here. Anyway, we bought it on Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Um, this is the color, the white undercoat that we purchased some time ago, but it is, uh, trust me, this is not good no more, so we can't use it. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is to use some acrylic paint that I have to color the epoxy. And I'm not going to use a lot. Um, it's equal part mix, so one part A plus one part B equals the mix. So I've gone ahead and marked the same level on each of these cups. So I'll put A in this and B in this and then I'll mix them over here and add the color to it. Um, we're not doing a big surface, so I'm not going to use a lot. I'll ensure that I close these properly so that air doesn't get in them. And yeah, I'm just hoping for the best. <laughs> There is definitely a better way to do this and I'm not really sure why I'm doing it this way <laughs> because when we did our other epoxy projects what we did was just paint on the coat of paint and then add the clear epoxy over it and put the design into the clear epoxy so I'm not really sure why I'm doing this but let's see how this turns out it's interesting to try new ways of doing things um, I did see them do this in other videos, so I guess that's why I'm trying to do it this way. The acrylic paint didn't get it as white as I wanted, so I went and got some white paint and added it to the mix to see, you know, how white I can get this base to be. Alright guys, so my white is not as white, so I'm going to try it to, and we don't have any sealing white, <laughs> so I'm going to try to paint the surface with some of the white that I have. I don't know if this is going to work. But if not, what I'll do is probably just do a second coat of epoxy when, um, well, tomorrow. I'll try to get some more white and do a second coat. But let's see how this turns out. As I'm rolling on, I realize that I made two mistakes here, guys. One is I did not mix enough epoxy. <laughs> this is just not enough. It's too small an amount to cover the surface in the way that I want it to be covered. And three, I should have painted on that white paint and then put the epoxy over it so that I got that real rich white pigment that I was looking for. But this is a good trial and error, guys. It's another way we learn when we DIY. At this point, there's not much more that I can do. I'm just going to roll out the rest of the product and leave it to dry. And tomorrow we'll revisit and fix the countertop. We'll definitely have to buy some paint and some more material to get it done. But we'll get it done and we'll get it to look how we want it to. So stick around to see that. The light that we're going to quickly install and then we're going to install the vanity so i just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the faucet so we bought this faucet on amazon and a lot of the faucets that we have bought over the years have been this brand kiss and we haven't had a problem with them so far so we continue to purchase their items the drain yeah yeah we get warranty did, did we have a problem with them oh yeah the, the pipe pot the pot filler in the kitchen had a broken 
I don't know what you call that, robo or whatever, and they, they actually sent us the replacement. It cost like $2. Let's check that out Oh, I guess we just paid for the shipping. But this drain is a pop up drain. We bought it from Kess on Amazon. And it just, this looks so nice already. And the faucet. Uh, we stuck to the three hole faucet. So we got something called uh, this other goose neck, right? Rory, help me take this out, please. Are you busy? Oh. That easy. Show me up. We've got this uh, gooseneck design, which is pretty sleek and black. And this costs like this probably costs like fifty or sixty dollars. I guess I'll leave the link below so you can check it out if you're interested. But this brand, trust me, we got a lot of our faucets from them, and um, especially the bathroom faucets for the shower and the face basins and we love them so when this is installed it should be real nice and that should be real soon <laughs> all right guys so we just have a little bit more to do and then we'll be signing out for the night and then we'll pick up tomorrow and finish up this bathroom have anything to say, Rory? Got finished today. Yeah, the epoxy, the epoxy mess we up, but well, me mess up the epoxy, but whatever. That's how it is in DIY sometimes. Signing out and see you tomorrow. We like to put all the juicy details in one video guys but this video was getting a bit too long for everything and we don't want to leave out any important step or any important advice that we would want to give you so we're going to split this into two videos and in our next video we'll show you how we fix the epoxy install the sink and complete this bathroom we'll also give you a mini tour of the space and tell you all about the fun ways in which we save some money all right guys well be safe and don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who are renovating leave us a comment below we respond to every single comment and subscribe to our channel bye